The world outside schools is changing fast and we think we need a new sixth form in order to prepare children even better for the changing demands of the world, for the new demands that we see the world placing on our leavers, whether they go to university uh, or whether they go directly into work. And we believe the new building will prepare young people outstandingly well for the world uh, as it is now and as we see it developing. The new building will have its own separate entrance off Mill Street. It will be distinct from the entrance to the boys' school or the girls' school. So I think that will help the new sixth to develop its own identity uh, and to be seen as a, uh, a moving on point which is different from that in year 11 at the boys' or the girls' school uh, and have its own sense of being a more adult place of work. Uh, firstly, I think um, it's going to be a building in which the students will enjoy spending time uh, and I think it will be a building that will enhance well-being. Secondly, I think it will create a really positive learning environment for the students as well. And then thirdly, also a, a space that's, um, that will be really good for them to socialise in and enjoy spending time with each other. So there'll be a, a large cafe area where students can go for a, uh, for a coffee and a chat uh, in their sort of study periods or at break time or lunch time, uh, or where they can meet with a, a member of staff, with a tutor uh, or a teacher um, to have a one-to-one -one conversation um, uh, as well. So it will feel like quite a sort of professional grown up environment, so I suppose there'll be sort of one foot in a school environment and one foot in a sort of um, what might be like a modern university library or a modern workplace um, as well. So from that respect it will help to prepare them uh, for, the, for, the, for their next step, for the future as well. So the new sixth form building is going to really allow us to innovate how we're uh, teaching and, and how students are learning. Um, one of the ways it's going to do that is in the design of the classrooms, which we have configured uh, around something called the Harkness model. So that's an idea that was developed in America, um, where students sit around a large uh, table, a bit like a boardroom if you're used to, to going in a boardroom. And it's designed to encourage a more discursive, potentially even argumentative approach where students are encouraged to answer questions um, in, in what we call like a Socratic fashion. Um, but also, it's a more inclusive environment where they can tackle assumptions and argue through principles um, that perhaps mirrors a little bit more like what they would see at university in terms of a university seminar, for example. So it's less about the teacher being at the front and sort of communicating knowledge uh, to, to the students, but it's more about that inclusive environment, encouraging students to find their voice um, and to argue through those problems. So DDP, um, Digital Device Provision, is our programme for uh, uh, supplying and issuing pupils from years 5 to 13 uh, with devices to be used not only in the classroom um, but at home. Digital Device Provision uh, really benefits our sixth formers because not only do we provide um, world-class uh, technology uh, and hardware to our uh, uh, to our pupils, to our students. Um, we, uh, we subscribe to state-of-the-art cloud technology offered by Microsoft that they, uh, the vast majority of our sixth formers uh, are likely to use uh, when they start the world of work. So the Future Zone will contain much of the university and careers advice that we already have, uh, but it will also uh, be a, a working space for young entrepreneurs and they may include pupils in our sixth form so we anticipate some of our sixth form may already be running their businesses and we want to create space in which they can do that even while they're in school and when they leave school it may be that for some of them beginning their own business is what they really want to do or when they leave university or after two or three years uh, working for a big company or maybe even later in their career so we want to provide an area where uh, old Berkhamsteadians or current Berkhamsteadians can, uh, can work uh, at creating their own enterprise. It seems to us that careers advice in schools has generally focused on working for big organisations, but increasingly a larger proportion uh, of people are working for themselves. And therefore we wanted to balance uh, our careers provision with a recognition of the importance of entrepreneurship and uh, an explicit modelling of that because that's harder to show to our pupils 
uh, and an opportunity for students to experiment with that and to try that um, even while they're pupils. Well, pastoral care is really at the heart of the design of the building. Uh, the building is very open and warm and welcoming so that when students come into the sixth form, they instantly feel part of a small community. It's designed around a flexible environment that can be used for a multitude of purposes. So students will um, have services that range from one-to-one -one, uh, interactions with staff and other support staff right through to lessons and lecture facilities. The building is really designed with a lot of emphasis on natural light, on green space and of a very sort of clean atmosphere for students to learn and work in. And not only is that good for them to learn in, it's also good for them to experience their relationships and their frustrations and all that goes with being in sixth form. They've got that sort of natural emphasis uh, where they can work together in a peaceful environment and um, where, where they've got really all the assets they need. Um, to be working together. One of the innovative features of the building is that one of the wings will have walls that are entirely removable. So when year 13 come off timetable, when they've completed their taught lessons and start preparing for their exams, we can draw back all those walls and put exam desks in there so that the students take their exams in space with which they are familiar, which is temperature controlled and lit in just the same way as when they were working in it. The flexibility of that space is beneficial to the school. The familiarity of that space is going to be beneficial to the students and we think that will provide a marginal gain for them as they take exams in that space in the future. The students were very keen to understand how the building would feel to them, how they would uh, be comfortable in the building. Interestingly, with sixth form, we've got a meadow quad, which is quite unique. We're used to seeing our more manicured grass quads in, 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 on the campuses. This will be a meadow quad, so it's going to be very, very different in its feel. It will have lots of planting, lots of biodiversity, lots of spaces for students to go and relax, chill out, chat just take some time out from a busy classroom. I think what's been really exciting about this project is the collaboration that's taken place between the students, the experts, the staff here, and I think we really hope that this will set the blueprint for all future developments at Berkhamsted.